Hello there, my name is Gary Short and I'm the Technical Evangelist on the Frameworks team. In the screencast, I want to introduce you to a new feature of XPO which is coming in the 10.2 release, and that is the ability for XPO to support stored procedures in your database. To, do, to demonstrate this, I've got a little demonstration application here. The first thing we're going to do is to add some information from the Northwind database. So if we select the project, right click, add a new item, and we'll take the persistent classes and uh, start that wizard. The first part of the wizard remains the same as you'll be used to seeing. So we're going to select the uh, default machine here. And down here, we will select the Northwind database. Click the next button. Now we are asked for the tables and columns that we're interested in. And just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to undo all of these. Just take the products. That'll be enough to uh, work with. Click next. And this is the new part where it asks you for the stored procedures that we're going to be interested in. And for this particular demonstration, I'm just going to be interested in, a sto in the stored procedure, which will return the 10 most expensive products. And now I can finish. I click finish. And as before, a persistent classes onecs file or whatever you chose to have named that, I just took the default for convenience, file gets generated. And here, here's our products class, as you can see. Down here is something new. And down here is a little helper class called the name of your database and then Sprock Helper. This is a static class which will help you <clears throat> excuse me, which will help you execute the stored procedures that you're interested in. And in this case, we're only really interested in, in executing the stored procedure 10 most expensive products. And that's generated for you. So now the code that we've written, here in the program file, we're just going to create a new unit of work, select the connection string just to make it connect to our Northwind database, and then we're going to use our helper class to execute this 10 most expensive products store procedure, which will return a selected data type. Then we're just going to write out that these are the 10 most expensive products, and then we'll write out the name of the expensive products. So now I'm just going to execute that. And here we can see the 10 most expensive products in the Northwind database. And that's a short demonstration of the, of the fact that XPO now supports store procedures in your database. Thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for selecting Developer Express.